is this damn house? Tiff, if I got my ass off the couch for... I know this place exists, Google. Why are you playing with me? Oh, there it is. Girl, it really does look like some white people live here. You know, Tip, I know that you're not feeling great, but couldn't you get a bug another day? And Heather, you're way too good of a wife. I'm not gonna know any of these people now. Z, you made it. Come on in, honey. Hi, boo. Oh, say hi. I have Tip and Heather on FaceTime. They wanted to see the house. Hey, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, Tip, I want to feel better soon. Oh, here's a little something for you and Derek. Congrats on the house. It is so white. Stylish. <laughs> uh, just like you. You're so sweet. Well, come on, I want to introduce you to everyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone is nice. You can't hide in the corner all night. Uh, can't I? <laughs> Bitch, I'm the only black person. I'm the only black person here. This is why you don't abandon me. See what you've done? Everyone, um, I'd like to introduce you to Zelda. <laughs> Dean and I go way back to college. Oh, um, this is Zach and Diane. They work with Derek and they helped us renovate the house. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. Well, I need to make the rounds. Uh, Z, what can I get to do train? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll find something in a bit. So, Zelda, what do you do for a living? I'm an English teacher, um, mostly middle schoolers, but every now and then I guess a uh, freshman class. Oh, wow. Public or private school? Um, Public, down by Victory Street. That's incredible. You know, it's such a shame how little teachers are paid. Teachers are the real heroes of this country. Uh, um, thank you. That's very nice of you. Now, uh, do you find it more challenging with kids in a public school setting? Um, no. Private school kids can be just as challenging, um, especially middle schoolers, you know, puberty, hitting it all. Yeah. I thought you could use some backup. Oh, have you had a chance to look around yet? Oh, not yet, but um, Jill said that you two helped them with the renovating, right? Oh, she gives us more credit than we deserve. I'm sure of that. We uh, helped fix the you know, original crown molding, found similar wood for the uh, banister, the, the little things. Oh, wow, that's really impressive. Yeah, but it was just a passion project for us. We love this style of, style of Southern Gothic architecture. <laughs> you mean antebellum. There's just something about it. There's, there's so much history. This house in particular has a pretty interesting story, in fact. Huh? Oh, really? Yes. So, like, in 1850 or something, the owner of this house had an affair with the maid. <laughs> sure. An affair. With the maid, of course. Yes. And then the maid asked him to run away with her. And he said no. So heartbroken, she jumped off the roof and broke her neck. I bet it was the wife. They're always the ones that do. Um, uh, damn, a uh, crazy story. So has anybody seen any ghosts yet? Not yet, but uh, maybe tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bail to the kitchen? Uh, yeah. Um, it was nice to meet you both. I'm gonna grab a drink. Oh my God, those people! <laughs> oh, thank you for coming to save me when you did. I was gonna like, rent those to a new one. Mm. <laughs> no, you can't be doing that as the only black person at a party. That's how you end up as a cold case mystery. <laughs> I thought I was about to be one. Look, very <laughs> just back with the maid. Rich history, you know? How people act like the master bedroom wasn't the master bedroom. Mm. 
White people love living with no guilt. Mm -hmm. Oh, how's the wine? Any good? Oh, no. <laughs> this shit is rancid. Take a swig of this. <laughs> What's that? Oh, nothing. Just something that I always keep on me. You want to look? I swear, this is some ritual cult shit. I am out of here. Right? Everyone, I just want to thank you so much for coming out tonight. And it is such an honor to welcome all of you into our home. So we'd like to take a moment and raise a glass, a toast, to a lifelong house of... Oh my God, did, did you see that? We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service.